What is going on everybody and welcome to episode 5 of the MC Eternal Let's Play. We have got a big episode ahead of us. So, uh, where we last left off, we had captured our mobs. We've got that done. We still need to get our power grid and we still need to upgrade our farm. But a lot of these things are contingent on page 2 over here, more power. So, unfortunately, our beautiful... Um, Anola farm set up here is very, very, very inefficient. It is lacking in its ability to power even our little mob farm down here. So as you can see, yeah, everything, everything is, is drained completely from it. As a matter of fact, the only energy that it is able to keep up is literally just enough energy to kind of keep it going here. So it'll keep all of these machines running. But other than that, it doesn't it doesn't work very well. Now, I have thought of one thing that we might be able to do. I think these are just drawing too much power, right? These uh, industrial foregoing plant gatherers. So we do have these farmers down here. And if we can get a look at their effective range, uh, admittedly, the, uh, the, the whole way I even thought of this um, system was... Uh, by watching another YouTuber, and I, I just, I don't know what the range is, there is no, like, config, let me look on YouTube, or on YouTube, on Google really quick, and figure out what the range of the farmer is, I've got some good news, guys, the farmer actually has a range of 9 by 9 so what I'm gonna do, is we'll take it over here, and I'm gonna see, it, it draws a power of... Okay, guys, so I'm not too sure that the... Oh, you son of a gun. Let me abducted. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. That's not my video. Stupid idiot. So, I was looking into it. Apparently, the farmer is going to actually require more RF per tick. Um, we can go over here to the wiki and you guys can see it. So, RF use, 1500 per tick. And if we look at the plant gather over here... Um, RF use 40 RF per tick. So, technically speaking, um, my system is actually more efficient. That's what I thought. Let's see, can I? I don't want to break the system. Um, hopefully, these like whitelists stay after I destroy that. Oh boy. Okay. Do they stay? Yes. Nice. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and place the farmer down really quick. I have to walk around. All of my cables. So let's see. Is this thing gonna start pumping? I mean, is that like more efficient or less efficient? I feel like it's probably just less efficient if the if the wiki's not lying to me. But again, we will we will see. Yeah, I mean, no, it's. It can't even fill up its power storage. At least this one can fill up its dang power storage, so that is not going to be our solution. And for whatever reason, the Ender IO machine or fluid conduit is not hooking up to it, so that is a pipe dream. That is a pipe dream. Um, and I think this whole canola, canola oil system is kind of a pipe dream. I've thought about some workarounds to just make this system operate properly. But, uh, to be honestly, it's kind of like the whole sunken fallacy, what, what is that? Sunken cost fallacy, whatever, there's a, there's a fancy thing, um, I'm not smart enough to keep it in my memory banks, but basically, we're putting in way more effort for this system that is just clearly flawed, uh, again, I, I don't want to talk crap about my system, alright, it's beautiful, it kind of works but I, i'm gonna talk crap about this system it's flawed it's it's 100 percent flawed it's chalked and we're gonna need more power there's no there's no more effort that i'm willing to expend trying to make this this work so we need more power we will find another way to get it so on the to-do list i did have uh mob farm storage these things are just getting overflowed to the brim here i wanted to set up something with drawers and like a trash can so each thing that we care about we'll put in a drawer lock the drawer and it will stay in there and things that we don't care about like all of these random items it just we really don't need 
will just get trashed and we can kind of constantly have these barrels um, available so they can keep farming the stuff that we, we do want. And eventually the system will overflow at which point we'll just come over here and we'll cut the, the farms off. They are drawing a ton of power though and as a matter of fact the, the whole system is just it's just chalk with the addition of the mob duplicator um, basically all we did was uh, mirror this farm and it's generating just enough power to keep this farm up and running and uh, those machines kind of will you'll hear them kill something every once in a while they'll get a, enough RF but our uh, main thing is going to be more power for now we have to accomplish this like ASAP Hey gamers, we have made it back, and I've come up with a solution. It's uh, a temporary fix to a temporary problem, and that is going to be coal power. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and take the Chinese route on this one, and just spam coal generators. Now, now I will show y'all a trick that we can do to kind of get the most out of our coal. There is a generator. Um, and I will tell you what mod pack it is from here in one moment once I get to it. Also, I decided to go ahead and claim all of my rewards that I had got. So we have 5,000 coins saved up. And what I really want right now, um, and honestly it might change. You know, I want it because I've been mining. But night vision goggles toss, cost 10,000 coins. And uh, I don't know. I, I got tired of having to use the torch launcher over and over and over again down there. Uh, night vision goggles will just make it to where we can see at night and we don't need torches anymore for the mines but uh, that aside we're gonna need a petrified fuel generator so this bad boy right here is uh, actually going to generate fuel based off of the or generate RF based off of the like combustibility of the uh, the block that we're putting in it so if we put a block of coal in there I think it's going to uh, generate like 80 RF per tick or maybe 800 I, I, I might be I might be completely mistaken so if we get a couple of these bad boys running pumping out some coal uh, coal blocks that is we're going to be great so that's why I went mining and real quick I don't want to give you guys the bad numbers let me just go back to Google and get the exact numbers for you okay so research was inconclusive uh, I tried to find a list of like power numbers and what what this will actually generate depending on what you put in it but uh, yeah nothing came up so we're gonna craft a couple of these golden gears here let's just make like a half a stack we go through these things like candy at the stage that we're at in this game um, also pro tip if you're like in the uh, interface trying to craft something if we take a look at these um, it's gonna cost that to build that one this to build that one and this to build that one so obviously one of these is cheaper than the other so if we can always get away with using the machine case it's literally wood redstone and some iron versus I think this one costs you some of your tin so uh, I don't personally have a bunch of tin laying around right now I do well technically I do now I just went mining but it is a lot easier to just uh, craft machine frames in, in my, or machine cases, in my opinion. Well, it would be if I had blocks of redstone laying around, which I do not, unfort. Just get a couple of those. Machine case. Cool. So now we can get ourselves a petrified fuel generator. And you know what? Let's go ahead and build two of these. I build a couple of those, and then we need one more furnace, I believe. Let's just build a ton of furnaces real quick. We could build a stack of furnaces, in fact. We can build two stacks. And hopefully I never get, we don't have furnaces on my interface ever again. So we've got two petrified fuel generators. Now the last thing we need to do is take all of our coal. We've got 1K in here, and I still have some inside of my uh, little dank null here so let's grab all that out shift right click to interact with it we take this 500 and that should give us another couple hundred blocks so we are going to be in a coal shortage after this but we aren't going to be in a power shortage hopefully for long and this what this is going to do is allow me the power to set up another farm so we're going to need an inferium farm 
And uh, that's going to be taking us into the Mystical Agriculture mod, which we haven't touched on yet, but it is very, very strong. In fact, uh, going back in time, if I could, I would just completely skip the uh, canola powered farm. I wanted to try it out. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm off the subject. We're not talking about the canola power. But if I could go back and redo everything, I would probably just start with an Inferium farm because the stuff with this Mystical Agriculture mod is just insanely overpowered. So let's go ahead, get these uh, petrified fuel generators set up, and then we'll start fiddling with this stuff. So I've got these bad boys set up over here, and I'm just going to kind of have them oriented like that. I wish I would have built a third one, just so we could have three in a line. It would, it would look better. But really quick, I want to actually break this, and I kind of just want to see how much power we're going to generate per one thing. So if we are to put one block of coal in there, how much RF are we going to get? So 800 RF per tick. Yeah, that's nuts, guys. Okay, I love that. I also saw that you could put... Bro, what the heck? Blaze rod in there. So let's check. Let's check this. There's like a pumpkin head thing out. The scarecrow outside my house. Bro, I'm doing research for my chat right now. So just, just pipe down for a second, would you? Jeez, Bro, this guy. What? This guy. No. Uh, we're going. I'm looking to see how much RF we're gonna be able to generate. So 800 RF per tick with a block of coal, which is infinitely better than our. 80 CF per tick. So I don't even know what CF per tick is. I need to learn the conversions for all these uh, powers. With one RF equals one CF. So this is producing 80 RF per tick. So CF and RF are directly, directly uh, together. But yeah, dude, 80 CF per tick. That's horrible when you compare that to um, freaking 80 per tick with that. And then let's see what a blaze rod will get us here. So 120 RF per tick. Yeah, that's not great. So the blocks of coal are definitely going to be our our go-to meta resource right now. So let's have that, and we have it set to extract. We'll take this one, and we'll also set that to. It's already I set. Scour the riverbed for. We'll put a stack of boy. blocks of coal. A stack of blocks of coal in there. Yeah. And three in each of these. So we have this, this coal. Salt. This coal right here is a ticking time bomb for us because eventually it's gonna run out and so we're gonna need a way to um, we're gonna need a way to fix it so these batteries should eventually start filling now I'm hoping because these batteries are gonna start pumping power everywhere else well, these aren't really batteries but oh, brother it is why is moving in water literally the worst okay guys so uh, our solutions to the power have been, like I said, temporarily, temporarily is the keyword here, fixed. And as a matter of fact, we've got everything kind of running smoothly. So I went ahead, instead of just wasting our coal, right, it's pumping power to machines that are actually fully charged. I put it inside of that barrel there. And until we actually run the mob, uh, the mob farm, we don't need to be wasting that coal. So I decided it's kind of a waste to use up our coal and run the mob farm without being able to actually like yield any items from it. So what I've done is gone ahead here and we're adding to our storage network for the mob farm. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna need some slots back here to work around with. Let's get this, my inventory is getting full, but Basically how I have it laid out is I looked through all the items that I wanted and I'm kind of like seeing, okay, this is going to go here, this is going to go there. And each one of these drawers can hold an item. So for instance, uh, this drawer here, we actually have to uh, place them. So like we'll put Inferium Essence in this drawer. So that's going to take all the Inferium, the cartoized glands, those can be used to make gas tears. Slime balls are nice. Um, but I'm not actually so sure. We might want to just take that out. I believe I placed those slime blocks in there. So uh, I don't know if we're actually going to be getting slime drops at all. Um, fermented spider eyes, kind of niche. I don't know if we'll ever really be using a ton of those. But if we brew potions, I know there's some recipes that call for them. Bones can always be used for... Uh, fertilizer i got those magic crystals because i know those guys are doing electro bobs intestines are nice because it's one of the easiest ways to get ink sacs 
which is actually very useful. You get the black die. Eventually we'll set up a system to kind of make our own dies using mystical agriculture. And, uh, just another one of the reasons why that mob is so OP, or that mob, that mod is so OP. Um, and it looks like we've got all of those set up there. Uh, I want to get a collection of heads. I swear I had skeleton heads, okay. But I'm going to put those in their own, like, well, do I really need a drawer? Like, each one of these will hold up to 32 stacks of all these items, so... I don't know, I'm looking through here, and it's like, we've got we've got some things. I know I want record bags, but we have to make a storage crate for that. Um, because they will only stack up to 64 for some reason. So we won't actually, like, get our full use out of them. Let's see, what else can we make a chest for? There's an argument to be made for feathers, but I don't... Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think we'll be using any of that raw rat... And using to cook rat food, basically it's food, just the food source. Which honestly, you know what? It may sound really disgusting, guys, but I think we're just gonna use this last slot on rats because right now we don't actually have a meat farm. So if this could be our source of meat, um, I'm not too good to eat rat. You know what I mean? Uh, so we've got that there, and now we need to set up some simple storage crates. Those three are going to go right here, and these are going to house, uh, so one of these is going to be record bags, so let's go ahead and go through and grab all of our record bags here. Uh, you know what, we could do a food bag as well, we'll do record bags, food bags. I don't care about books, I don't care about tools. Mystery loot bags, maybe, maybe we could find a use for those. So all of those are going to go into this crate here. Let's just kind of have this uh, organized. I forget, you can just hit middle mouse button and it auto organizes everything. But you can see this is going to get filled up really quick because they, they only stack to eight. So that's why we kind of uh, might even just set up two. Both of these will be set up for that. And then this one is going to be set up for all of our different assorted skulls here. So let's set that. Also, I forgot we have this over here. So maybe what we do is... Uh, have our items go under like that. Yeah, we'll figure this out. We'll, we'll get to the wiring when we get there, but cool. And then we'll put our Enderman heads in here as well. They were already in there. All right, so now that we've got all of this set up, we've got to make one more thing back at the base. So back at home, I've got some energetic, or energetic pulsating iron cooking up. And the reason we need pulsating iron, guys, is because, oof, actually, I messed up, I messed up, we, we needed to be cooking these conduit binders as well. So conduit binder, uh, if we look at this, it's just the same old deal, uh, gravel, clay, sand, and it makes conduit binder, which is used to make uh, pretty much every conduit in the Ender IO system. You're going to need conduit binder, and you're going to need some sort of something in between. So for item conduit, we need pulsating iron. And pulsating iron is just going to be an alloy smelter with ender pearls and iron ingots. So we kind of had to wait to start using these items. That's why I've been using the uh, cyclic system. If you remember the item extraction uh, things, but I really I'm, I've been trying to shy away from cyclic. Uh, I might even go replace all of our crap that we've been using cyclic with uh, with these item conduits now that we have ender pearls. So let's speed this up because I don't want to be sitting here forever. Got about 10 hours saved in there. There we go, baby. Blazing speed. Cool. Cool. Okay, we're a little laggy here on the server. Okay, and next we need our pulsating iron. We need to turn this into nuggets. So for now, we'll just spam nuggets because I don't really have any other use for it that I know of yet. So. We can craft our item conduits. Now, I want to get myself a clean stack of these. 
maybe even two because these ones are something that we use a lot of here in my let's plays at least and now we can kind of run over and finish setting up the thing also really quick basic item filters let's just do item filter this is going to be something that we're going to be using a lot of as well on the server so we're going to need hoppers let's see well, we got paper but we'll need more of it let's craft a couple hoppers here Shit, I think we're going to need more. But we're definitely going to need more. Shoot. Um, well, you know what? We won't actually need that many just yet. Uh, we only need the three for those storage crates. Everything else is kind of locked with the drawer system. Alright, so let's go ahead. First things first. We're going to need some item conduits. So, the way this is going to work is our storage crates we're gonna need to make sure these are set to always active and extract now let's do this and this and just we want to always make sure it's always active because it's gonna be hard to get back through into this whole little area once we wire it up and we're gonna send these wires over this away up and now we can I believe we can close this so let's shift right click and make sure we have some cobble collected. Selected, not collected. I hate that you can see under, but it is what it is. We'll block that off because we can go around this way. And now we'll take and plug it up here. And these all need to get set to insert, always active. So. Kind of a pain. I wish there was a way that I could copy the config, and there probably is. I'm just not not using it. I know they've definitely got a wrench tool. Probably you can like shift click or something. But uh, we'll insert that. Always active. Oh shit. Alright, and I'm sure you guys get the idea, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this for all these until uh, we got to hit these. Alright, so here's where things are going to get tricky and we're going to need to use our item filter. So, this chest, we only want these items to go in, so let's go ahead and grab one of each. We could actually just grab the whole stack so I don't have to do unnecessary clicks. Let's give ourselves some room here in our inventory. And basically how this is going to work, we want it on insert only always active but now we're gonna put an item filter in here so the way the item filter works is we will hit edit filter settings and that's sweet we have just enough to put everything we want so we'll take skulls in here and infinity booster cards these aren't useful yet but let me say that this is gonna be something we definitely want in the future we're gonna need a lot of it in fact it's just gonna make our life easier and uh, yeah, that's a little bit of foreshadowing. So now we're going to take and just make sure we have these same base settings. And you'll take it. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We need the item filter. Uh, why is it just pumping random crap in there? What did I want to put in here? Oh, I remember now. Oh, I remember now. Okay, let's break it. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Not, not always active. Never active. Never active. Stop the madness. No, it's going to keep pumping. Please stop. Please stop. Is it like a siphon? It's just going to keep pulling? Okay. Ugh, well, we've got a big mess on our hands now. So set up the item filter before you change the settings. Um, but yeah, for this one, we basically just want these bags. So where's our, where's our head chest? I believe it was down here, right? And it just started pumping in here as well. Disgusting. But we should see, like, if we go and put all these heads in either one of these chests, so let's just do that, and our infinity cards, it should all end up in this chest, this chest, eventually, yeah, so it's slowly pumping those in there. And that is pretty neat, guys, and that will be the only thing that gets pumped in there, because we set up our item filter, and that's important for the last piece of the puzzle, so... Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate my inventories looking like sheet. So let's take the record bag, the food bag, 
and the mystery loot bag. These are the three bags we want in here. Item filter. This is the last example I'm going to give you guys. With this knowledge, you should be able to kind of configure your, your stuff the proper way. Uh, and now we can set this to insert always active. And this one we need to, uh, we actually need to set up the same exact filter, so let's do that. All the items that we don't need in our inventory. All right, and now this final portion here that we're going to do is where the magic happens. So we're going to make ourselves a trash can, extra utilities trash can. Grab that really quick. And uh, we're going to plop that down over here. So basically everything that doesn't get put into one of these chests is now going to just get trashed. So we should start seeing items flow out of here and into this trash can and you're not going to be able to see them going to the trash can because they get insta deleted out as soon as they're done but all these poor magic books i wish there was a way to save the magic books because you never know what which one you're going to get um but there isn't so sadly uh, we're going to take the l on that most of the good books you kind of have to find out in the world anyway so that is how we are going to set up our storage and now we can cut this thing on and not worry about you know wasting energy for no yields cool beans jeez <laughs> bro the baby in the background wanted to show you guys real quick something cool we can do with the wiring now that we have uh, all ender io conduits so as we went over before i do believe i, I went over at some point the Ender I.O. conduits will actually stack all into one uh, space of a block. So from this one face, we can pull fluid into the trash can. We can route power from a power bank that we are event... Well, not eventually. We can put the power bank in right now. It's just there's no power. Because uh, I, I got sidetracked. I took a break to go edit, and I apologize. There is a, a baby screaming in the background. Uh, the little guy's cranky today, but... <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I took too long. I went to go edit, and the uh, the coal generators ran out of coal, which is insane, man. I, I sat and I mined coal forever, and um, it, it didn't work. But the next thing we're going to get into really quick after... Uh, I, want, I just wanted to show you all this. Oh, let me finish the system. We're going to want to put a drawer here. Drawer. There we go should have enough to build it there we are pop that sucker right there awesome so that drawer and these son of a gun that drawer and these two plant gathers are going to be the only thing that is actually visible from the system and it's just going to look super clean uh, of course we're still under construction so all that has to stay as is but I'm really liking it also uh, I went ahead and removed those cyclic cables in the storage chest that we had and we are routing a bunch of um, we're routing a bunch of cables underground via the the one side face and they are pumping into here we've got some good yields look at that so while I was AFK editing, we got we got a decent amount of stuff. This is what's really important. We need the intestines right now because over here, my brother is building his house. Well, actually, it doesn't look half bad. Let's go over here and get a good view. Yeah, that's not horrible. It's really not horrible. Um, I think he, he is he putting more roof off onto the right. He definitely needs to, because it looks funny how the roof is only like, going up there. I would think maybe a little bit of overhang on this side. But, um, he needed black dye for the tiles. I guess he got it. One way or the other. And the interior, oof. Oof. This is like, uh, the whole meme when a guy moves in and he doesn't need much furniture. <laughs> He's got all of his, all of his essentials right there, I guess. Exposed storage link cables. I'm sure he's going to hide that some way. I do like how he used the stairs. He's got like his storage integrated under the stairs. That's pretty cool. And then upstairs looks 
You know, it looks nice. I'm gonna give it to him. It looks, it looks well. Uh, better than I'm ever gonna build. Well, that's actually not true. I've got some pretty cool builds planned out. But for starters, I always just like to go into the ground. It's very easy to expand quickly. And yeah, I, I'm done. I'm coping. I'm really just coping. Uh, I decided to remove the farmers that we had built. Um, those farmers, after looking it up, uh, I think we went over it earlier, but they just pull way too much power from the grid that is already struggling. And uh, we're not going to want to deal with that. So really quickly... I uh, already showed you guys that we made the addition. We're kind of going for like a terrace farm style here uh, because the area that I flattened out for industrial park is already kind of getting swallowed up. There's a lot of industry going on in this playthrough. So let's go ahead and uh, get into some mystical agriculture.